Apple's new M1 Ultra Peak Performance Display. Welcome to Rocket Reviews. In my last video, we talked about one of the products revealed by Apple at their recent event on the 8th of March 2022, the iPhone SE 2022 edition. If you haven't seen it, kindly click the description below. Kindly like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for easier access. For the sake of those that are yet to see the previous video, the event was called the Apple's Peak Performance Event. In this video, we will be talking about another product revealed by Apple from the Peak Performance Event, Apple's new M1 Ultra chip. If you want to know more about other products unveiled by Apple at the Peak Performance Event and get the full details, watch this video to the end. Let's get started. The first thing you need to know about the new M1 Ultra chip is Apple connected two M1 Max chips through what they call the Ultra Fusion packaging architecture to give the M1 Ultra chip in similar terms to Apple's M1 Ultra was built using the die of two M1 Max, which are connected using Ultra Fusion, Apple's custom built packaging architecture. The M1 Max, M1 Ultra's predecessor, is known to have a high speed interface. This allows Apple to combine two M1 Max chips into one, which brought about the M1 Ultra chip. It has double the CPU cores of the M1 Max double the memory, double the memory bandwidth, and the GPU cores which will handle a lot of functions for the M1 Ultra. A lot of people have been talking about or trying to compare the M1 Ultra to Nvidia's giant RTX 3090. From this video, we will see how Apple unapologetically has gotten a higher hand as it is one of the fastest GPU that will be brought into the market from 18th of March 2022. So let's go straight into the features. For this, I'll be using most of the information from the source, which is Apple. The M1 Ultra consists of 114 billion transistors, and because of this, the M1 Ultra can be configured with up to 128 GB of unified memory, which has a high bandwidth and a low latency. This can be accessed by the M1 Ultra's 20-core CPU, 64-core GPU, and 32-core neural engine, which is capable of 22 trillion operations per second. The M1 Ultra innovative chip through Ultra Fusion uses a silicon interposer. The interposer connects the chips across more than 10,000 signals. This provides a 2.5 TB of low latency and an interprocessor bandwidth, which is more than 4x the bandwidth of the leading multi-chip interconnect technology. Through this, the M1 Ultra can behave and be recognized by software as one chip. The 20 core CPU that the M1 Ultra features is made up of 16 high performance cores and 4 high efficiency cores which help the M1 Ultra to deliver 90% higher multi-threaded performance than any other PC desktop chip in the same range. Apple says that M1 Ultra has been designed to help most graphic intensive needs like rendering the processing complex 3D images. M1 Ultra has a 64-core GPU, which delivers faster performance than any other PC while using 200 fewer watts of power. Apple believes that the new M1 Ultra supersedes all other PC. Well, the M1 Ultra is that powerful. As earlier stated, the 32-core neural engine that the M1 Ultra possesses allows it to run up to 22 trillion operations per second. The M1 Max on its own has a strong media engine capability. Imagine how strong the M1 Ultra is now that it possesses double of what the M1 Max is capable of. Apple says that the M1 Ultra offers unprecedented ProRes video encode and decode throughput, and it can play back up to 18 streams of 8K ProRes 422 video. Truly no other chip has ever accomplished this. Apple revealed that the M1 Ultra chip also integrates the best technologies created by Apple, such as a display engine capable of driving multiple external displays, an integrated Thunderbolt, four controllers which includes Apple's latest secure enclave, its hardware verified secure boot, and runtime anti-exploitation technologies. Apps are scaled up to the M1 Ultra chip. Because of the massive increase in the M1 Ultra chip's CPU, GPU, and memory bandwidth, apps can now run faster on the Mac Studio. Apple says that developer technologies like Metal let apps take full advantage of the new chip, and optimizations in core ML utilize the new 32-core neural engine, so machine learning models run faster than ever. Users now have access to a larger app collection on their PC due to the increase in M1 Ultra features iPhone, iPad apps, and universal apps can now run smoothly on Mac. The M1 Ultra chip is designed to help apps that are yet to be updated to universal apps to run smoothly while using Apple's Rosetta 2 technology. 
Comparing the M1 Ultra to its predecessor, M1 Max, you might want to know if there's any other difference aside from the fact that the M1 Ultra was double everything that the M1 Max has. Well, this will be more visible when the Mac Studio in which the M1 Ultra chip will function will be released. Finally, the M1 Max has been on top of the list for a long time, and I think the new M1 Ultra will be taking that position. Until the Mac Studio becomes available in the market, M1 Ultra still takes the lead. Note that the Mac Studio with M1 Ultra chip will be more suitable for professionals in certain fields. If what you do is not such a big deal, then you can stick still to the Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip. This is all about the M1 Ultra. We've come to the end of today's video. Let me know what you think about this product by dropping your comments. If you'd like to see other videos about other newly revealed Apple products, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell.